Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We started the day off with some fog and some haze, and now we've got thick cloud cover across most of the Susquehanna Valley. Right now it's 75 degrees in Harrisburg, and check out the dew points now in the mid-60s, making it feel quite sticky. We've got the clouds, but the rain, it's few and far in between. We just have some very light showers. The bulk we see here on Super Doppler 8 Live Radar is not reaching the ground just yet. However, there is a possibility for a few very light isolated showers through the afternoon on into the evening hours. Here is Tropical Storm Bertha. Right now it is moving through South Carolina. The moisture from the storm is going to move on in later tonight in the form of some rain and interact with the storm system off to our west. And we're talking daily doses of passing showers and thunder showers starting late tonight into tomorrow. So for the rest of the day today, mostly cloudy, just not ruling out a stray shower, but it is going to be gloomy out there with highs near or just above 80 degrees. It's late overnight tonight. Light rain moves on in and then tomorrow doesn't look like it's going to be a washout, but there will be periods of scattered showers and a few thunderstorms throughout the day with highs once again near 80 degrees. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances. Spotty at best looks fairly quiet around 10 o'clock, but then the rain chances really start ramping up early tomorrow morning and on into the afternoon hours. Pollen count is high. It's the tree pollen, the, the pine pollen that's causing the problems. Grass pollen is also at a high level. 76 right now. If you're watching us in Carlisle, currently 78 in Lancaster and the same in Ephrata. It's seasonably warm across the eastern seaboard and over towards the Ohio River Valley. Let's get you updated on Bertha. Here's the 11 o'clock advisory. Maximum wind speeds in the storm are at 50 miles per hour. It's moving to the north at 15 miles per hour. I do expect it to dissipate and become what we call post tropical as it moves over the Appalachians, but its leftovers are still going to bring us those passing showers and thunder showers as it interacts with the storm off to our west. So let's take hour by hour here on the predictor. Notice the thick cloud cover. And there it is, that spotty shower that's possible through the early evening hours. There's what's left of Bertha. The heaviest rain is going to be off to our west, but it's going to be close enough to give us these hit and miss bands of rain through the morning hours. And then we're talking periods of scattered showers and thunder showers through the day tomorrow. And then heading into Friday, another storm system will move on in from the west. It looks like it's going to be warmer heading into Friday and also some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong side with some gusty winds. We're talking a decent soaking rain for us when you add it all up starting late tonight through the day tomorrow and also into Friday. Much of the valley is going to be picking up between a half an inch to an inch of rain. So near 80 degrees today hit and miss showers and thunder showers for tomorrow. Better chances for those showers and thunderstorms will be around on Friday. Saturday's a transitional day. We'll see the showers tapering off and then much cooler and drier air builds on in highs only in the lower 70s starting Sunday into early parts of next week.